Hi everybody, it's Rose of Sharon. I'm back again with another movie review. I just recently had a chance to see The Money Pit, which I'd heard of, and it stars an extremely young Tom Hanks, but this is yet again one of those misadventure films, and <laughs> you've got Walter, the main character, and his fiance, and they're hopelessly in love, and she was once in love with <laughs> a conductor who is quite the pompous windbag and extremely boorish and conceited and very much full of himself, a narcissist, etc. There are lots of adjectives I could use for this particular individual that would not be very flattering to his character, but he deserves every single one of them. <laughs> it is a very funny film. Everything that goes wrong that you can think of does, and there's a reason for that that I won't go into without ruining the whole plot. This is one of those movies that, if you mention the plot, then you spoil the movie. So I, <laughs> I don't wish, wish to do that if you're a fan of Tom Hanks and want to see one of his earlier films. And uh, I don't know if he had his career established by that time. But he is a, well, even to this day, I still think that Mr. Hanks is a very good-looking man. Uh, I mean, he has that boy-next-door charm that I like, and I read a book about him, and you probably remember the review, but he is a very kind person. He's very sweet, very down-to-earth, funny, intelligent, and who wouldn't want to befriend him? He just He's just a... a salt of the earth type of person who stands up for a lot of different causes he believes in and I think you're my type of guy we're of the same ilk but I digress anyways the movie itself it's um it's hysterical it's 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 kind of predictable yeah it's it's a rom-com uh, it's more comedy than romance and it's just it's fun. It's it's a romp. It's one of those entertaining films that you can just switch off your mind and coast through it and it's entertaining. <laughs> it's just pleasant. It's one of those relaxing films that you can just sit back and and savor. And not only that, but I think that there are good lessons throughout. I think this is one of those good Valentine's Day films because it's, um, and Valentine's Day is coming up, but <laughs> it is full of good object lessons that one can actually take to the bank and, and use in a relationship. But the first rule in any relationship is, is communication and trust. Trust follows communication highly on its heels, but the two should never be sliced in twain. They always have to go together. <clears throat> or else your relationship is sunk from the get-go. Just take my word for that. Uh, <laughs> I'm myself, and there are people that either support or absolutely um, are concerned about the fact that I'm in a long-distance relationship, but I think that everything will turn out correctly, I've made the right decision, and all will be well. And I've I learned a lot from this movie too. But it's just a very fun film. I give it 3.5 and definitely two thumbs because Tom Hanks is absolutely... <laughs> he's a riot in this movie and there are some really <laughs> amusing things that happen to him that remind me of the movie Duplex. <laughs> I think that maybe Duplex got some source material from this, perhaps? Maybe, who knows? But it, it just seems like that because I've seen so many films, I've read so many books, that they follow a pattern and formulas work. <laughs> There's a reason for that. And, and the business of Bollywood, and I know I've mentioned this to the point of some people wanting to puke, but formulas are what really make Bollywood work so well as it has for as many years as it's been going on and it actually supersedes our our Hollywood type filmmaking but I really don't have that much to say 
it's just a splendor first film that can be enjoyed by everybody and there's really nothing really too terribly bad that would offend anyone in any way it's it's just good it's just it's a lovely film and tremendous to watch and a blast from the past like a lot of the films i've seen now but that's all i have to say until next time live long prosper ciao tutti